Hello everyone, welcome back to Preschool Storytime. My name is Ms. Shana, and today we're gonna to sing a song called Clap Your Hands, Everybody. Clap your hands, everybody, clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody, clap your hands. Let the music and rhythm give you joy when you're with them. Clap your hands, everybody, clap your hands. Stomp your feet, everybody, stomp your feet. Wake up, jump around everybody, jump around, jump around everybody, jump around. Let the music and rhythm give you joy when you're with them. Jump around everybody, now sit down. Very good. Oh boy, it's time for the story time fairy to show up. Storytime fairy, where are you? Hmm, that's strange. Storytime fairy, she didn't even send me an email. Ah! Well, who are you? <laughs> You're filling in for the storytime fairy? May I ask your name? <laughs> Carol? That's a nice name, Carol. It's nice to meet you. My name is Miss Shana. I see you brought the story time basket for us today. Thank you. Do you mind helping us uh, open the story time basket? Okay, what do we have today? I'm so curious what story time could be about. What are those? Pants? Doing story time about pants? Okay, is there something else in there? All right, what else can you show us? Uh-huh. And what's that? A shirt. How exciting! A pair of pants and a shirt. Is story time about doing laundry? Okay, maybe we should get out the flannel board to figure out what this is about. Okay, can you hold the flannel board for me? Thank you. It's got this little ribbon right here. Oh, you've got a great beak for holding things, don't you? Thank you. All right, so we had a pair of pants and a shirt. But I also see a little hat and a glove. Hmm, another glove. A shoe. And another shoe. out what this is supposed to be. There's one more. Okay, what do we got? <gasps> a pumpkin? Do you have any idea what this could be? Put them together, you say? Okay, well I suppose if this were a person, I would put their shoes, hmm. Let's see, maybe their pants right here with the shoes. And I put the shirt right here with the gloves. Does that seem right? And their hat would be somewhere up here, but I still don't under, oh. Oh, I see what 
what this is? Do you know what this is? That's right. Look, Crow. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you scared of scarecrows? Well, you know, it's because you eat all of the crops growing, like the corn, and the scarecrow's meant to scare you away so you don't eat it all. Oh, you don't seem to like that very much. Well, thank you, Carol the Crow. I'll see you later. So I suppose story time is about scarecrows. Today's story is called The Scarecrow's Hat. It's written by Ken Brown and also illustrated by Ken Brown. And I'm reading this today with permission from Peachtree Publishers. That's a nice hat, said Chicken to Scarecrow. Yes, it is, replied Scarecrow, but I'd rather have a walking stick. I've been standing here for years now and my arms are so tired. I'd love a walking stick to lean on. I'd swap my hat for a walking stick any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a walking stick, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice walking stick, said Chicken to Badger. Yes, it is, replied Badger, but I'd rather have a piece of ribbon. It gets hot and stuffy underground, so I prop my door open with a stick, but I'm always tripping over it. If I had a ribbon, I could tie the door open. I'd swap my walking stick for a ribbon any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a ribbon, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice ribbon, <laughs> said Chicken to Crow. Yes, it is said Crow, but I'd rather have some wool. My nest is on this high stone ledge and it's very hard to sit on. I'd love some warm, soft wool to line it with. I'd swap this ribbon for some wool any day. Now, Chicken didn't have any wool, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice wool coat, said Chicken to Sheep. Yes, it is, replied Sheep, but I'd rather have a pair of glasses. I have to keep a lookout for the wolf. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. I really need a pair of glasses. I'd swap some of my wool for a pair of glasses any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a pair of glasses, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice pair of glasses, said Chicken to Owl. Yes, it is, said Owl. My old ones broke, so I had to get a new pair. But I'd rather have a blanket. The sun streams through my window and keeps me awake all day. Which wouldn't matter if I had a good, thick blanket to sleep under. I'd swap my glasses for a blanket any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a blanket. But she knew someone who did. That's a nice blanket, said Chicken to Donkey. Yes, it is, replied Donkey. But I'd rather have a few feathers. The flies drive me crazy, buzzing around my ears. My tail isn't quite long enough to flick them away. But if I had some long feathers tied to the end of it, well... I could swap them easily. I'd swap my blanket for a few long feathers any day. Who has a few long feathers maybe she could spare? Quick as a flash, Chicken pulled out one, two, three of her longest feathers and tied them to Donkey's tail. Donkey was delighted and true to his word, swapped his blanket for the feathers. Chicken took the blanket to Owl, who swapped it for his glasses. The old ones, of course. She took the glasses to Sheep, who swapped them for her 
wool. She took the wool to Crow, who swapped it for her ribbon. She took the ribbon to Badger, who swapped it for his walking stick. Finally, she took the walking stick to Scarecrow. With a grateful sigh of relief, he leaned his tired old arms on the stick and gladly swapped it for his battered old hat. Chicken took the hat and filled it with fresh, sweet-smelling straw. What do you think she's going to use it for? I bet you know. That's a nice nest, said Duck. Yes, it is, said Chicken, and I wouldn't swap it for anything. The end. Now it's time for a song called Five Crows All Shiny Black. Will you help me count the crows? One, two, three, four, five. Can you show me five on your hand? Great job. Five crows all shiny black sat on a scarecrow's back eating some most delicious corn. Caw, caw. Scarecrow, he shouted, boo. One crow, away she flew. Now there are four black shiny crows. One, two, three, four. Four crows so shiny black sat on a scarecrow's back eating some most delicious corn. Caw, caw. Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! One crow, away she flew. Now there are three black shiny crows. One, two, three. Three crows so shiny black sat on a scarecrow's back eating some most delicious corn. Caw, caw. Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! One crow, away she flew. Now there are two black shiny crows. One, two. Two crows so shiny black sat on a scarecrow's back eating some most delicious corn. Caw, caw. Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! One crow, away she flew. Now there is one black shiny crow. One crow so shiny black sat on a scarecrow's hat eating some most delicious corn. Caw, caw. Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! That crow, away she flew! Now there are no black shiny crows. The end. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun reading about scarecrows with you. We'll see you next time. Take care.